Yeah, here on Arlington and we're looking at a stolen AC, so you definitely need to replace that. It's an older furnace, it's a um, you know comfort maker. So ideally, you know, we'd want to replace the furnace at the same time. Um, it's 80%. It's going into a masonry chimney. So yeah, I probably need a line. I don't see any UL tag on there. Um, return is a massive round. Looks like it's about two feet. I haven't seen one of those before. Yeah, so we're pretty tight on space from the top of the furnace um, to just get underneath the um, these six inch ducts coming off. You know, we got 19 inches um, from the top of the furnace um, to just being underneath these these six inch rounds. So and you got the transition that someone else has done to get that a coil in but we're looking about 16 inches you know from the you know top of the transition so we'll have to look there you can see the line set it's actually an unfinished basement situation it's a bit of a run it probably looks about 35 um, feet to get out um, so yeah with that line set um, being snipped off at the end you know we'll run a new one on the panel got a double 30 it's a Murray panel so that's good um, it is a walkout basement there's a couple of well there's actually about five or six steps to get out and that's the alley towards the back there come in yeah it's all furnace um, drain Kind of makes its way over to the um, kind of middle of the basement there. Yeah, we'll be leaving the filter as it is. So I'll let, we'll see what happens if it's going to be a furnace only, but definitely an AC um, coil and line set. Key's going to be coming up with a an A coil that we can uh, squeeze in, attach to this old furnace. That's it.